What's going on guys? Frank and Whitney, your gecko fighting duo here. And in today's video, we're gonna show you how to make crusty gecko diet and store it for up to two weeks in the refrigerator. Selling in the billions each year, Rainbow Mealworms is your one-stop shop for all your insect needs. Their quality feeders and A-plus customer service keep me coming back to support the health and growth of all of our animals. Visit them today at rainbowmealworms.net to place your order. All right, guys, so every time I make Crested Gecko Diet, I go over to this bathroom right here, so come along. The best and easiest way to make Crexa Gecko Diet is in bulk so that you could just store it in the refrigerator and give it to your geckos every day or every couple days. And you could do it with a fruit smoothie blender like this. I think this was like $19 on Amazon. It's called Hamilton Beach and it works really, really great. So we're going to plug it into the wall. And the first thing you'll want to do is fill this part with hot water, as hot as you can get it, because that's gonna allow for the powder to break down easier. Now for me, the amount that lasts two weeks is about three quarters of this thing filled up. You don't wanna go past the two week mark because then your food might start producing mold in the refrigerator and you don't want that, of course, for your crested geckos. So I'm gonna put this onto the Hamilton Beach. We're gonna lock it in place. This is my favorite crested gecko diet. It's the red bag with insects. It's a very common model that they sell. And I'm gonna fill up just about as much powder to liquid ratio. And then I can always add a little bit of water if I need to. If you put the powder in first, it's gonna clump up and get stuck at the bottom. That's why you wanna put the hot water in first. I put about twice as much water as I do powder mix, and then I'm gonna put it through its first blend. Now the Hamilton Beach has this open hole right here. You'll definitely wanna make sure that's closed. And then just punch it just a couple times to get all of that powder down into it. And you can see it's almost already mixed just after a couple blends, but you'll wanna definitely hold it down and let it blend really, really nicely. Now I've noticed at this point, it's not gonna shoot up anymore. So I can actually just look at it and see if it's the consistency I want. Now this is probably a little thicker, just slightly clumpier than I want. I want it a little bit more runny than that, so I'm gonna add a little bit more hot water. The reason you want it a little bit more runny is because this is gonna take about five minutes to fully soak into every single grain of powder in here. So it's actually gonna get thicker over the course of five minutes. Okay, so I just added about another half inch of water and it's always easier to add water than it is to take away. If you make it too thin, you're always gonna have to add more powder and that's more time consuming and difficult than it is if you make it too thick adding water is very, very quick, all right? Now, since there is some fresh water over the top, I'm just gonna cover it again. Once that initial drain takes place, I could take off the lid. And now you can see this is looking more like the consistency I want. This goes without saying, but there are very sharp blades spinning in there, so don't put your fingers in there while it's running. But look how like drippy this material is. It's slightly more watery than a ketchup consistency, and that's exactly what we want. All right, guys, so these actually are ketchup bottles and they can be bought on Amazon. I actually got mine from the dollar store. It was like two for a dollar. Just make sure they're clean and everything from the last time you used them, which this one is, and that's it. We're just gonna pour in the liquid now. As this liquid pours, it's just gonna create a little funnel, and as long as you don't pour it too fast, None of it's gonna spill over the side of the edge or anything like that. And I don't have time to waste to scoop the remainder out that doesn't easily come out. So as soon as I turn it upside down like this, whatever doesn't come out after like the first 10 to 20 seconds of it being like that, I just throw the rest away. Cause to me, time is money and I don't wanna be taking the time to scoop all of that out and, and everything. So I'm fine, look how much it made. Now I actually was filming and I wasn't as careful as I normally am. So I actually did spill a little on the lip, but that can easily be wiped. The cap will be put on. And for me who has about 20 to 25 crested and gargoyle geckos, this full bottle will last me about two weeks. Okay, now one easy way to clean this, as soon as you're done using it, 
that's when it is easiest to clean. And you can put some hot water in just this portion here and you could close this lid and you could shake it up over the sink and rinse it out a couple times until both the lid and the container are perfectly clean. And then to dry it, you'll just lock it back in place and then make sure it's unplugged from the wall so you don't cut yourself. The cord wraps nicely around the blender and then just make sure this piece is open so that all of this moisture evaporates out over the course of a few hours and it doesn't become moldy in here. So as soon as I'm done feeding the Crested Geckos, you can store this in the refrigerator again for up to two weeks. So let me show you. So Whitney and I, we have our reptile family fridge here in the garage. It's usually used for holding mealworms, rats in the freezer, cryo packs. And I just take the Crested Gecko mix and put it at the very bottom where Whitney holds her secret water. This is Whitney's secret sauce right here. She won't let me touch this water. That's why she hides it in the garage because I have a terrible habit of not refilling bottles and she always wants cold water at any given moment. And our ice machines are broken on both of these fridges because we're poor gecko people. And so she hides her water from me and that's where it is right next to the Crescent Gecko Diet. Effie, come on, you could be into film now. There you go. Come on, we're gonna do a family shoot out. No, you worried? What are you worried about? All right, guys, well, as in most cases, you can't get a cat to do anything, which is why it's amazing that they have a cat act on America's Got Talent this season. So watch it. I, I usually don't like animal acts because it's like, if you've seen one, you've seen them all, but the cat act is completely unique and different. And it's amazing how these people train cats. And the dog act this year is not so bad either. Whitney always knows I'm like, oh gosh, not another dog act. Anyway, they came up with creative new ways to make the dogs fun and everything like that. So you got anything to say? Have a geeky gecko, great day. All right guys, you heard it. We'll see you in the next video. And until then, peace. <laughs> What's going on guys? Frank, Whitney, <laughs> where did she go? What's going on, guys? Frank and Whitney, your gecko fighting duo here. Gecko fighting? Gecko fighting couple. How are we a gecko fighting couple? Do you act like this? Uh.